What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Simon Tech once again, and welcome to Mining Rig Wars episode 16. The winner from last week was Racked Up, and that was our live show from PAX South 2018. You can check it out by clicking the exclamation point up here in the corner. It was a fun time out there at BOIOC, and I hope to see you guys out at some of those as well. Maybe DreamHack, I'll be out there. A few other ones, we'll see what happens. Going to try to get the QuakeCon, and then we have Bitcoin conferences also coming up, I'll keep you guys all up to date in the public Discord, which you can check out in the description below. Without further ado, let's get into this episode. Welcome back. It's nice to have the intro, isn't it? Well, some people were complaining that it's a little too long, and some people said that the drums were too loud or something. So, if you guys have an opinion on it, you can always share that in the Discord, and we'll actually put that to a public quorum or vote. Uh, there we go, a public vote. And if it, if it passes that we're going to change it, then we change it. If not, well, then we don't, and you'll just have to skip it for now. With all that being said, let's talk about their rigs for the week. To vote for your favorite rig, be sure to click the exclamation point up in the corner. And if you'd like to submit, be sure to go ahead and submit by going to sonofatech.com and clicking submit your rig. Alternatively, you can also email submissions at sonofatech.com as well. The first rig for this week is Rig A called Argus Project by Brian. He's rocking a ton of Sapphire stuff on the Biostar TB250 BTC Pro motherboard. I am assuming he didn't list the processor, but I'm assuming he's either got a G3930 in that or a G4400, depending on what was readily available when he bought all of his parts. He has the Trident Z 8GB of DDR4 RGB, so <laughs> we're going to give you the plus one on the aesthetics for the RGB there. Next, we got two terabytes of Seagate hybrid drive for uh, 10 gigabytes of virtual memory, he says. I'm not sure exactly what's going on there. That's a lot of that's a lot of craziness. He's got three Sapphire Nitro Plus RX 588 gigabytes, one Sapphire Pulse RX 588 gigabytes, and a lonely gigabyte Oris RX 588 gigabyte hanging out with all those Sapphire cards. He's got a Corsair RM 1000i and two 1600 watt platinum server grade power supplies from. Aspel or Acbel? I've never actually heard of that company. Get us some pictures of those if you uh, watch this. His total hash rate is 160 mega hash a second. Next we have Rig B Big Blue by our Discord member Crypto Outlaws. You guys can always come over there and chat with him. He's got a lot of experience in a lot of cards as you can see here. He's rocking six Asus Z270A motherboards with seven ASRock H110 motherboards. 13 G3930, or wait, G3900 CPUs, and 13 sticks of 8 gigabytes of RAM, 8 EVGA G3 1000 watt power supplies, and 32 Corsair RM 1000X power supplies, with a total of 120 1080 Ti's, all mixed brands, and I'm glad he just said 120 and didn't make me read out well, we got one EVGA for the win 1080 Ti, one EVGA Super Super Clock 1080 Ti. I probably could have gotten to be a mouthful. So that's a ton of cards, and it shows with a total hash rate of 84, wait for it, kilohash a second. And that's on Equihash there. Next, we have Rig C called Skyfall by Asta. Asta? Asta pasta. There we go. He's rocking the G4400 processor, 12 EVGA GTX 1060s, an ASRock H110 Pro BTC Plus motherboard. Of course, he states that it's the 13 GPU. Yeah, I know. We got one. We got one right back here. He's got uh, 12 of the version 7, so the 007 risers, and a Samsung Evo 250 gigabyte SSD with 1000 watt and an 850 watt Corsair HX series power supplies, Windows 10, 
and a Linksys AE wireless adapter with a, he specifies a custom frame. So he built this frame here. It looks like it's laid out pretty well. I'm, I'm actually, I haven't seen one where the L brackets were turned upside like that to go ahead and min max and be able to fit, you know, I, I guess more than the typical six to eight GPUs. And some of them are mounted a little bit more cleverly by like putting two angle brackets and then putting the graphics cards, uh, I guess, what, vertically there. So let me know how the, I guess, the temperatures are on those, especially the ones that are sandwiched between the outside ones that you turn the fans towards the, uh, towards the exterior of the rig and the internal ones that are kind of inside they don't have the airflow from the external portion of the rig there. Next we have Lixus Rig by Henry. He's rocking the ASRock H110 Pro BTC Plus motherboard as well with the G4400 processor once again and Corsair Vengeance LPX 16 gigabytes of memory, five MSI GeForce GTX 1070s, five MSI Radeon RX 580 Gaming X editions, and two Sapphire Radeon Nitro Plus RX 588GB with a SanDisk SSD and two Corsair HX1200Is. His total hash rate is 154 mega hash a second. And finally for the week we have Rig E Mystical Miner who's rocking the Rose Will server customized case that we saw in last week's winner. So maybe he's already slated to win this week. He's got the Asus Z270A motherboard with the Asus GTX 1070s, seven of them, the turbo version, so I believe those are the blower cards there. A PNY Anarchy 2400 MHz 8GB stick of DDR4, the Arctic 120mm, 90mm, and 80mm fans with the version 007 GPU risers. His total hash rate is 210 mega hash a second. And I'm almost positive that thing would absolutely smash some Equihash, of course, as well with those 1070s in there. So keep that in mind. Going back through these, I mean, obviously, if you guys can get your hands on a Rosewell server case, the 4U, or a few of them, they are some of the most clean looking builds, especially if you can start racking them up in a server style rack. However, I am not quite positive that we have super good temperatures in here unless those front fans are relatively high RPM and I know that pretty much the Arctics are not going to be like a server grade like high CFM fan there. So let us know what the temperatures are like. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to really keep them super cool. That being said, the blower fans are probably on the GPUs themselves are probably going to be your best bet in this particular case. So I like the decision to go with that. The Lixus rig has a nice clean frame that can hold all of the cards at once. It's always nice seeing that because then you can also appreciate the cable management that's going on here. Now, 16 gigabytes of memory. I think you guys already knew that that was going to be my complaint with this one. So there you go. And I don't know what operating system he's running, but I'm assuming Windows because of the solid state drive. With Skyfall, I really like the outside the box thinking with the box that he put his rig in. Get it? So I think that the, the orientation of the GPUs is intriguing to me. I, I mean, there's no outside. It's an open air frame and he doesn't see, he doesn't have any external fans. Well, he does have a box fan there on the floor blowing at the backside of the GPUs, not the front side where the fans would take the air in. So the only thing that I get worried about here is the GPUs that are not towards the outer edge of the rig itself for temperatures and then big blue of course uh, i mean i'm gonna i have a little bit of favoritism because crypto outlaws has helped us test our pools a few times and you always need somebody with this many gpus to help you test pools when you're trying to make sure payouts etc work so thanks so much for that man that's really all i can say there you obviously know what you're doing if you guys are looking at builds that make sense. Looking at Big Blue here is going to be almost a necessity 
because he's rocking parts that are reliable and if you want to get an idea of how to keep a 24 7 rig running all the time come hang out in our discord and learn from him we got rig a argus project for the first one of the night that we will end on now here i'm not really sure what the two terabyte seagate hybrid drive is for so let me know why you need that much memory in a rig or if it was just an old drive laying around because you specified for 10 gigabytes of virtual memory um i'm assuming that you're using that for something that you needed two terabytes for yeah let me know what's going on with that other than that you know the sapphire rx 580s are a great choice and having so many of them will mean that you're looking pretty good on any et hash coin if you guys are curious about you know a a typical ethereum mining rig this would be a great example and yeah click through and check it all out thanks for watching this week's episode of mining rig wars don't forget to submit your rig with the links in the description below and come hang out with us in discord if you want to learn more about mining and building mining rigs etc as well as master nodes and almost anything that has to do with crypto these days we got a big community a growing community of a thousand members plus with 200 active members online at any given time which is pretty amazing for the size of the youtube channel and it's a great community we even play video games etc so if you're looking for a safe haven to mine and game we're here for you don't forget to like comment and subscribe down below and i will see you next Tuesday.